Hello guys, it's Bidabo Jonah here. Welcome to another of my YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to drop game for you. And in this video, I'm going to go straight to the point because I'll be talking about how to fix a compromise site uh, policy issue with Google Ads. This is how I fixed my compromise site issue. And uh, this could help anybody. I might not be able to open a Google Ads account currently that has compromise site issue, but this should help you fix your issue if you use a WordPress site. Right, this is how I fixed mine because I use a WordPress site and this is how I fixed it. So the first thing I did when I wanted to fix my compromise uh, site issue was to go to my tools, right? I went to tools and I checked on site health. I tapped on site health. I wanted to check the health of my site because I had used a Google transparency checker and the rest Google search console. And they were telling me that my site was in good health. But I wanted to use the tools that was available for my site already. So when I checked it, my site was not showing good, right? And there were site recommended um, uh, improvements that I needed to put in place for my sites to be in good. In good, it was not showing good. So when I scrolled down, I found I found some critical. You would see some critical um, adjustments that you need to make. Most of which is for your PHP on your or your cPanel, right? So when I came down here, these are just some plugins. I followed the side recommended improvements. And on the performance level, I saw something that triggered me, something that uh, really, really caught my attention. It was the PHP models in my website that were not checked that made my site not function properly and for me and made google to flag my site this is a very tricky and dicey situation this is what works for me and it might work for you if you use wordpress as well so when i came here i saw that i needed to enable some php models here php models perform most of the tasks on the server that make your site run any changes to this must be made by your server administrator the wordpress hosting team maintains a list of these models but recommended and required in the team handbook so th these are some of the PHP models. This and this and this might not be needed because it is not showing critical at the moment. But I saw then my site was showing my site else was showing critical, right? It was showing critical and I might needed to fix it. So when I when I scroll down, some of the critical errors that was here was from my PHP model. So how did I find my PHP models? I went to my control panel. So you go to your control panel. Let me go to the control panel right now. You go to control panel and you search for you search for uh PHP, right? You search for PHP. So this you you come you come down to software and you search for select PHP version. If you tap on select PHP version, you most likely your version is going to be in native. Right, you want to change your version to the latest version, which is non native. You want to change it to the latest version, which is non native, to 8.2. If you're using 8.8.1 native, you want to change it to 8.2. And when you change it to 8.2, you tap on apply. Once you tap on apply, it's you switch to extensions. You switch it, you're going to see under PHP selector, you're going to see my domains, extensions, options. And let me show you some of the some of the extensions that were not enabled for and why my uh, why Google was flagging my, my site as compromised site. Some of the options that were not enabled were hash, imap, PDO, um, one other one down here. One other one down here, like my SQL ND. And all of this and GD as well. GD was not enabled. So you're going to see it on your website. You're going to see it on your website on the PHP models of the things that are not enabled. Like in this case, uh, XIF is not enabled, magic is not enabled, iMagic is not enabled, international INTL is not enabled. So I can come here to find XIF on E. If I go to his name is uh arranged alphabetically. If I go to E, this is XIF. So XIF is actually enabled automatically if i go to i i magics so this is i magic i magic is not enabled international is not enabled so as you can see i have enabled those two and if i refresh this page if i refresh 
this page, you'd see that uh, I'm performance. This eye magic is going to not show here anymore. It's going to not show there. So I come back to tools. I come back to site else. So scroll down to, so as you can see, uh, this is an expected result, but you can see that is no longer showing. That, you know, we had six recommended, now we have four. It's a REST API counter the next error. Uh, I can fix this later, but this is just to show you what you need to do. So when you do this, when you put fix your PHP models, most of the time, why Google will flag your site is because some of your PHP models on your control panel is not checked. Uh, I'm going to show you how to come back here again to PHP selector. Let's go back to our control panel. You scroll down to um, software, to software, and then you tap on select PHP version. Tap on select PHP version, and you choose current version on my domains, and you scroll, switch to extensions, and you select, you select the version. You select your PHP models based on what were recommended for you on your site site health. So when you do this, you go to Google, you go to Google and you request, you request a review. You request a review. You notice that most of your issues will be solved. So this is how I fixed my issue. And I am certain that it's going to work for you if you use WordPress site. And this is one of the issues that you might be facing. This is how I fixed multiple compromise site issue. So thank you very much. My name is Ibida Bojona and I am your Google Ads Specialist.